guys welcome back to my channel my name is Michelle for anybody out there that don't know um, today's review is going to be on this hair this is the Malaysian curly hair from the vanity box I have it on a wig that I made um, I have it in three bundles with a lace closure um, the bundle lengths are 18 20 and 22 inch and I can't remember the size of the closure I believe it's a 16 inch is either 16 or 18 but I think it's 16 so yeah, this is the hair. Um, usually what I do to the hair is co-wash it and then I wear it. I usually don't put shampoo on it because it will make it frizzy. But I've washed it once and then mostly what I do is co-wash it a lot throughout the week when I wear it. And this is the curl I get. Um, the curls when I first got them was a lot tighter curl. So I'll insert a picture of the hair when I first received it. But then after that, when I started co-washing it more, the curls became a lot looser. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the pros and cons of this hair. And I'm going to first start off with the pros. The first pro is, is that the hair has a very pretty curl pattern. As you can see, like, it's amazing. Like, it's so pretty. It's really pretty. I try not to run my fingers through it so much because it can frizz up. But that's like what I love about this hair is the curl pattern of it. Um, another pro is it doesn't tangle. This hair does not tangle. I've gone out with this hair on and sweated and everything. And it really doesn't tangle bad. I mean it might tangle just a little in the back but nothing too serious so that's another pro for this hair is that it does not tangle you do not have to worry about this hair getting matted and tangled or anything and it's curly hair you guys know that curly hair could sometimes tangle but this hair does not tangle so that's a plus and it does not shed that much like I just co-washed this hair last night and when I co-washed it I looked into the tub to see how many strands I lost and seriously only lost about five or six strands and so yeah you don't have to worry about this hair shedding out or anything I mean you might get a few strands here or there but it's not a lot at all and for my last pro this hair is very soft like oh my gosh if you run your fingers through it it is just amazingly soft especially when you co-wash it and you running that conditioner through the hair it is really really soft and then um, if you don't want to put like a gel based product on it then the hair will be even softer because what I usually do is co-wash the hair and then just put like a leave-in in it without gel then the curls will be a lot softer and not as defined as this because this curl pattern has a gel based product in it um but the curls will just be a lot more softer and wavier if you don't put the gel based product in it and just put in a leave-in conditioner and then the curls are really really soft after that now let's go into the cons um the, I only have two cons for this hair actually and one is that the hair smelled when I first received it it smelled like plastic barbie hair uh, like a plastic barbie doll hair that's one of the cons and actually I guess you gotta wash it a few times for the smell to go away because I actually do not smell it anymore so that's probably what it was. You just have to wash it a few times for the smell to go away. And I'm sure it's because they processed this hair like with steam to get the curl pattern in it. So that's probably where the smell came from. And number two is that I'm not going to say it's a lot of maintenance to this hair. But this is not like a wig you can just throw on every day and go out the door. No, this curl pattern like... I don't know it just gets really frizzy if you don't maintain it like you have to co-wash it you got to keep up with the hair in order to get this defined curl pattern unless it'll just be a big frizzy mess <laughs> to add on to the maintenance of this hair I have to say that I did have to manipulate the hair a lot when I first got it because the hair was like super long like the 22 inch was super long and then the 20 inch wasn't as long and then the 18 inch it was just like it wasn't layered like I thought it would be it was like it was too long for the 22 inch and then the 18 inch was way up here and the 20 inch was like it was just I had to cut it 
so basically I had to cut the 22 inch in order for it to look right and for it to have like a layered effect so I did have to manipulate the hair some and get it to a shape that I like so one other thing that I wanted to mention about the hair is I don't know if like this might be a pro or a con for some people but um, it really doesn't bother me but the color of the hair I ordered a 1B but I ended up getting like a brown color like this color like cuz I'm thinking that this hair was virgin hair and when you get virgin hair you do get um, different color bundles sometimes but it I don't know it's processed hair I know it's processed so to get the curl pattern but it's probably not processed in the way that they coat that like they didn't color the hair they just probably just processed the curl pattern but that might be a pro for some people or a con for some people i when i first got i'm like seriously y'all couldn't give me a blacker bundle like y'all just gave me this random brown bundle but i understand with virgin hair um some of the bundles are different colors but it, now it doesn't really bother me at all. So that's just the risk you take with buying virgin hair. <laughs> but those are my only cons for the hair. Other than that, I really like it. I recommend it to anybody out there that's interested in the hair. So I'm going to continue. I'm just going to show you guys the hair more and show you the back and everything. So that is it for this video, you guys. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about the hair or anything. So yeah, just leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm going to stray away from hair and talk about lipsticks. Um, I personally absolutely love lipsticks. My favorite brand is MAC because they have such a great variety for darker skin.